Welcome to the first Packet Pushers live stream. Welcome to you for joining us today. Look, multi-cloud networking is and remains a new technology and developing a multi-cloud network strategy is a serious, like a really serious challenge. Public clouds have these proprietary networks that change constantly and your wide area network is moving to application overlays with edge security, we call it SD-WAN or SASE according to your flavor. And private clouds are using IP fabrics and overlays. And even in the campus, we've got overlays and underlays and a whole range of new technologies. And at the same time, planning network security for the next 10 years is about micro-segmentation, it's about application inspection and analytics tools that go so far beyond what we've ever done before. How does a, a network architect, how does somebody who's strategizing for this planning for the next 10 years in their network, how do they address this unknown knowns? We know where we're going, but we don't know how we're going to get there. This is different from networking for the last decade. We can identify the challenges, but we don't know if we need them. Which clouds will the business want? Will they want one, two, all of them? What are my requirements for connecting my legacy networks or my existing networks? What if you've just deployed an SD-WAN and now you need to go to the cloud? How do I connect those? What do I need to do? What about connecting my distributed workers? Are we working from the office? Are we not? Are we going to be working from the office? We, we don't know, right? And so you, uh, network architects are really looking for strategies to handle this complexity and avoid this manual hand stitching and weaving an artisanal sort of network architecture that plagues the existing networks of yesterday. In this Packet Pushes live stream, our Kira Networks is demonstrating a strategic product portfolio to do that does this. Likely, it's not what you expect. So it's worth listening closely when their customers, real customers on the show today, talk about how they're using the product. Oh, and we'll also explain how the product works. So just in case you didn't think about that, we are going to talk a little bit about getting some insights. Now, the show format today is different. There are six section, separate sections, each one covering a little niche topic. And we're going to be going, saying five to 10 minutes on each one, and then we're going to segue to different speakers and different content so that you don't get bored. So we're going to start with an overview. Then we'll talk with two customers using our Kira networks today, like real customers. This isn't false or pretend. These guys actually use our Kira every single day, weirdly. And then we're going to dive into the product with Manan Shah and talk about how it works. So stand by as we jump to our first session with Amir Khan and myself. Greg, thank you so much for having us on the on the show today. Uh, really, really uh, enjoy discussing things with you always. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a long-term relationship and uh, we love the fact that you guys are so upfront and real. Yep. Really love it. <laughs> So let's get started here. You've got, you told me that you wanted to talk about the inevitable transformation of network. Now, I think networking is already transformed. Or if you're looking at network, you know, we saw SD-WAN, we saw overlays in the data center, we're seeing overlays arrive in the campus. There's more to come. Why is Alkira taking another step? Is it really here? Yes, absolutely. And uh, the two fundamental, fundamental principles that we uh, use to build our company uh, one is that cloud has enormous amount of resources, right? Whether it comes to uh, raw bandwidth, compute, storage, databases, et cetera. And uh, the second piece is that every cloud works differently, especially from the networking perspective. There are different nuances, li different limitations, and different capabilities offered by each one of these clouds. And the poor customer is stuck figuring out what needs to be done. So we started uh, on this journey by trying to solve the multi-cloud problem first, uh, where you need a common fabric across all these environments and then uh, tie it into your on-premise location seamlessly. Uh, so it's a very comprehensive solution that uh, we've embarked upon. So for me, this is really interesting because if I'm a network architect working for a company, I'm looking at knowing that we're gonna go into the cloud somewhere. I might be on the Google, I might be in an Oracle, I might be on an Azure. I don't know, right? I might go out and buy a company tomorrow and suddenly they're using AWS and I've got this single cloud strategy to only be in, I don't know, Azure, right? And now all of a sudden, your everything that you bought your products for and the things that you designed in your handcrafted yeah. Python Ansible configuration is now suddenly like, oh, now, you know, <laughs> and I mean, what do you do? I mean, this sounds like this is what Alkira's network cloud is doing. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, as I said, customers had a couple of options before we started. Uh, one was uh, to build things in the co-location facilities and uh, second was yeah. to do it themselves uh, as things uh, got complicated inside the cloud. 
And it was becoming so complicated from the customer perspective that one of our customers who's on here, Matt Hogue from Coke, said that it was a spaghetti mess, right? So day two operations, troubleshooting, you know, visibility of routes, uh, any type of comp uh, compliance or governance requirements uh, were very difficult to meet. And they will go into a lot more detail from that perspective. So we, here we are trying to standardize and consolidate uh, and provide a common solution across all these environments. And Greg, this is like, you know, uh, the late 80s. <laughs> well, I think the other thing too is that Alkira's network cloud uses what I think of as over-the-top resources or like what overlay networking was to physical networking. Like we let the, the physical network be physical. We let devices be devices. And then we built these overlays. And I kind of think of the Alkira network cloud as being over the top of that again. And there's an advent, there's a complexity there, but there's also an advantage. And that is that I keep all of my existing and I can add this on. It doesn't replace as much as adds to. I can continue to use what I'm using, but now I start to bring in the Alkira cloud in places where that matters. Exactly. And that's why we have built our own infrastructure in the cloud for the cloud, right? And uh, we hide all the complexity from the customer while still giving them complete control over what needs to be done, whether it's segmentation or routing or whatever is needed from the customer perspective is a very comprehensive solution. What about security? Because security is all, like you talked about micro-segmentation, hot topic, everybody loves them, some micro-segmentation in 2021. Uh, how, how do you do security in that micro-segmentation area and what form does that security take? Yeah, so that's an excellent point, right? Security becomes more difficult as your environment becomes more complicated. You lose control over it. So what we do is we streamline things so that you can define the parameter and you can choose where the security needs to be brought into your environment. And it's very, very you know, unique in the industry so that you can have uh, you know, strong security deployed across your multi-cloud environments in a similar manner, right? And your hybrid environments. And then the last piece is uh, we've seen so much going on with overlay networking and suddenly we've seen the arrival of visibility and analytics. Part of the, the first trend around SD-WAN was that we could see what was going on in the network. Are you taking that same idea forward as well? Well, it's a different idea because it's the infrastructure that we have built in the cloud which spans much beyond the capabilities uh, which were provided by SD-WAN, which were specific to you know, creating a common fabric across multiple transports. Here, yeah we have to deal with so many different uh, capabilities of the cloud. So if we were to take that approach and uh, build orchestration tools that does not meet the requirements of the customer. So we had to build our own infrastructure in the cloud. And it's, uh, you know, you can literally configure this thing has been made so simple, it's as a service. You can uh, configure it across the globe in minutes, literally. It's, it's interesting because of the way that you do it, you do all of the functions and, and this is a sort of a network functions implementation is how I sometimes think of the yep. technology. And we'll talk about it more in a couple of, couple right. of segments. The traffic comes in, it goes into your overlay network, and then at the edge, it hits your network functions, whether it's load balances or firewalls or security inspection or visibility and all that sort of stuff, authentication. And the advantage of that is that you're not dependent on the cloud that's underneath for its networking functions. So if, if, if AWS wants to do networking the way it does it, but Google wants to do it the way that it does it, and you're trying to stitch these things and match and say, I need to match. And, and then I'm writing Ansible Python. Gosh, I've got a team of developers and my CICD pipeline looks like a trauma right. zone. You know, Alkira sort of gives me a way of just saying, I'll just put the traffic in here and I can apply one dashboard to it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, that's the beauty of the solution. And that's why we built our own infrastructure was that we didn't have to run into different limitations of each cloud. So you have full routing capability, which scales horizontally. It's completely elastic, and uh, it allows you to build policies in a very simple manner. And so that's the transformation part. Yeah, and uh, we strongly feel that networks will be built in the cloud in software. You don't have to ship hardware or software anymore. You come to this portal and consume networking for the first time in the history of networking as a service. And this is the first and we are the leaders in that market are very proud to say that the team has done an awesome job and the customers are, you know, they, they, they stand behind us. Okay. Well, thanks to Amia for laying out that vision for transformation and how, well, you know, multi-cloud has non-obvious strategy impacts, which I don't think everybody's realized yet. 
Up next is Techion. They're a customer actually using the Alcura product today, and they're talking about the problems that they solved using the Alcura product. We'll be right back after the switch with the next session in about 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> 